guys, we need to get real here. I'm sorry, but I know I haven't shown that much emotion on my channel, but something lately has been dragging me down, and I don't feel good about this. I might even not post this video, but I haven't been posting. A lot of you guys have been saying, show my face. I'll get more views, but I'm not about the freaking views. It's about something else that's more important. It's about you guys. And I know you're like, why are you telling us? Now. We could have been supporting you. I came to the point that I have to explain it to you guys. This on me is an animated me. I don't want to show my face yet. I'm not even 10 yet. I'm still a 9 year old kid that just has this dream of being an awesome YouTuber. But my expectations have grown so high to me that they're dragging me down. That voice in my head just keeps telling me I'm a failure. I just need to get the views. It's all they care about. They only want, they only want to see your face. They only, all they care about is other stuff. They don't care about who you are. They just care about your content. So do whatever. But that's just been dragging me down even more. Got louder and louder and louder. I couldn't hear anybody, but I dealt with it, and I didn't let it bother me. This was when I went into my hero stage. I didn't care what anybody said, but in the back of my head, I could still hear it, but I didn't care. I didn't care because I knew that I can do it, but it just got worse and worse. But due to time, I started just ignoring it. But it kept coming back. It, I tried ignoring it, making it smaller. I couldn't hear. I couldn't see anything. It was, it was like I was drowning. I couldn't get up. Sharks were dragging me down. And I couldn't reach the peak of my expectations. All I could hear was you were a failure. I couldn't stand the voice anymore. I was going crazy mad. I didn't know what to do. I accepted it. So I went with it. Kept on trying, trying my best. Coming out with content. This led to total breakdown. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep at night editing my content. Nobody watching me. I didn't tell my family yet. Nobody watching my videos. I'm a failure. Nobody liked my videos. Nobody cares about me. And I noticed that this is a lie. And I felt happy. For some reason, it kept coming back. The voice telling me failure. Failure. You're a disappointment. Don't ever come back. You have to reach your expectations or else you'll never, ever become your dream. Yet, I felt like I had been my dream. But I felt like I was in control, so I felt better. But I wasn't. They just kept coming back and my head started to hurt because of this. So I went to Google. I searched something up. Is it normal? Turns out it wasn't. But I didn't care. My whole life was black. Didn't know what to do anymore. But the voice came back. I didn't care anymore. I... I did something horrible that nobody should ever do. I spent nights, days. Trying to record videos, I didn't like them, so I threw them in the trash. I thought they weren't good enough for, for you guys. But then, my head felt, 
my brain said, You don't matter. If you're not famous, if you're not good at anything, your life doesn't matter. I mentally, I was mentally getting dragged down. So, I, I tried to just drive it away. But the more I did, the more I did, it dragged me down. So I went back to the first phase. But I didn't feel like myself. I felt like, instead of me being the human and being a shadow behind me, I felt like I was the shadow and someone else was controlling me. The voice, the voice, that's all I could hear. I kept noticing, I drove it away more and more and more, but it came back, it came back. So I didn't trust it. So, then, I started to feel like I don't need to reach my expectations, but I will. And you know why? Because I am going to be the best YouTuber ever. And you hear that? My goal is to reach 50 subscribers. If I don't reach that ever, then I lied to you guys. Tell me in the comments if you think I would lie. To you, my viewers, my loyal viewers. So I went into the final hero stage. The stage where I was in control. The voice. The disappointment voice didn't bother me. I felt like I dragged him down while I was the shadow, and now I'm in control. But now, I was the hero. So now with my sword, when that voice comes back, I'll strike it. And I'll tell you guys in a video, if it comes back, you guys have your blades. You guys are like archers with your bow and arrows. Those comments really do help me. Even though I was gone for like a week, you guys were leaving inspirational comments saying, Wow, your videos are so good. And well made. I thought, they're not that well made. The person even said I looked like a professional. So I won't be showing my face. That's why I didn't even show my face in this picture. That represents that I won't be showing my face soon. I'm sorry for everybody. Who knows? Maybe if we do hit 1,000 one day. Maybe if we do. No. Maybe if we hit our goal. 50. Yeah. I'm talking about 50, everybody, even the disappointment voice that's listening to me right now. I promise you that I'll hit 50. And now, the voice has gone away, and I'm the only person that controls myself. No, I know something that none of you know. None of you know. My soul will drive me on, because I'm not only Rashad anymore. About three months ago, I became somebody else. I became... Well, I became Darking Donut. So there. That's how you have it. Don't agree with anything that I said? Then tell me. Tell me why that I'm probably better than you now. Because everybody who knows from, who's from my donuts, every one of my viewers, the 101 viewers on my, my new intro video, they're all from the donuts. And you guys are the real fans. You guys are the people who drove that voice away. So I say, 
Thank you.